Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. I am now going to answer question number 15 from the C12 June 2018 International A Level Edexcel Core Mathematics paper. Um, this topic of integration and finding area between curves and such, that would be now in P2, the new P2 syllabus. Okay, so here we have um, a design for a logo consists of two finite regions R1 and R2 shown shaded in figure 3. The region R1 is bounded by the straight line and the curve C, and the region R2 is bounded by the straight line L and the curve C and the straight line with equation x equals 5. The line L1 has equation y equals 8x plus 38, and the curve C has equation y equals 4x squared plus 6. Given that the line L meets the curve C at the points minus 222 and 470, Use integration to find the area of the larger, lower region labeled R1. So we're going to find the area of this region here. Now they have very kindly given us the points of intersection. In most questions of this nature, they would give you the equations of the, you know, the line and the curve or whatever. And they would just say find the area enclosed by those two. And you would have to use algebra to find these points where they intersect by, you know, using some sort of simultaneous equation. So I would put 4x squared plus 6 equals 8x plus 38, make a quadratic equation and solve it to find these values. However, they've given us these values already, so that's not being tested in this question. So all we have to do basically is find the area between these two. Okay, and we know the equation of the line is y equals 8x plus 38, and the equation of the curve is y equals 4x squared plus 6. And they're both with y as a subject, so it's quite easy. There's a number of ways, or two two main ways we could do this. One way is to find the area under the line. Um, you could use integration between minus 2 and 4. Or you could use the fact that you can make a trapezium out of the um, area under the line, between the line and the x-axis. You could do that if you want. And take away the area under the curve between those same limits by integration, and you would get the area that is enclosed between them because if you take away the area under the curve from the area of this whole section here you will get the area required okay but what i'm going to this that's one way of doing it and maybe i'll show you how to do that way as well what i'm going to do first however is just take the area sorry just take the equation of the line and then subtract from it the equation of the curve and then integrate that result between these points because the line is above the curve okay the line is above the curve so I mean I could integrate you know the you know, say call this let's call this you know y1 okay and they call this y2 I could integrate the, the equation for y1 and the equation for y2 separately and I'll get the answer or I could say that this is the same as integrating y1 minus y2 with respect to x and get the answer straight away so i could do that i could either integrate the line and take away the curve or i could integrate the line subtracted from the curve that, that you know find out what that is and integrate that and that's exactly what i'm going to do here so i'm going to take the um, equation of the line which is 8x plus 38 take away from it the equation of the curve which is 4x squared plus 6 and all of that I'm going to integrate with respect to x between the two, two limits of um, minus 2 and that was 4 I think yeah 4 between the x values of minus 2 and 4 <clears throat> so that's going to give me the area between them okay so that's going to be integrating between 4 and minus 2 you have 8x plus 38 minus 4x squared so I'll write that first minus 4x squared um, I'm going to have plus 8x, I'm going to have 38 minus 6, which is plus 32. That's what I need to integrate between these limits. When I've done that, I will get my answer. So I'm going to now integrate this. So that's going to be minus 4x cubed, add 1 to the power, divided by the new power, over 3. Plus 8x squared over 2, which is 4x squared. Plus 32 gains an x at the end. No need to put plus c because it's a definite integral. And now I can um, substitute the values in. So I'm going to have um, minus 4 times 4 cubed, which is 64, over 3, 
plus 4 times 4 squared, which is 16, plus 32 times 4, minus, and then I'm going to put minus 2 into here, so I have minus 4 times minus 2 cubed is minus 8 over 3, plus 4 times um, 4 times minus 2 squared, which is 4 times 2, 4 times 4, which is 16. 4 times minus 2 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. And then I have 32 times minus 2, which is minus 64. Okay, and then I can work out what these are. I'll just put this in my calculator from here. So I have minus 4 times 64. divided by 3 plus 4 times 16 which is 64 plus 32 times 4 which is 128 okay and I'm going to take away from this put in a bracket I have minus 4 times minus 8 that's 32 over 4 32 over 3 sorry I have 32 over 3. I'm going to have um, plus 16 and minus 64. Okay, so that gives me 144. And there's square units and there's my answer. Okay, that's the answer to part A. Now, what we could have done also is we could have found the area under this trapezium. Because I know, for example, from minus 2 to 4 is 6 units. That's the distance between the parallel sides of the trapezium. And the, high, the, the length of the parallel sides, well, this is 22, and this is 70, the y values. So the area of the trapezium is going to be um, the distance between the parallel sides divided by 2 times the sum of the parallel sides. Okay, so that's going to be 3 times 92. Okay, 3 times 92, which is 276. That's the area under the whole trapezium. Then I could have found the area under the curve between minus 2 and 6. So the curve, its equation was y equals 4x squared plus 6. So I could have just done 4x squared plus 6. And I could have said, okay, the integral of that is 4x cubed over 3 plus 6x. And this is between minus 4 and minus, minus this is between 4 and minus 2. Well, I'll put 6 there. This is between 4 and minus 2. 4 and minus 2. Those are the limits. So this is 4 and minus 2. So then I could have found what that is. I'll just continue over here. So that's uh, 4 times 4 cubed. So that's 4 times 64 over 3 plus 6 times 4, which is 24, minus. That's 4 times minus 2 cubed. That's 4 times minus 8, which is minus 32 over 3 um, and 6 times minus 2 which is 6 times minus 2 which is minus 12 okay so I, I could work out what this is so I have 4 times 64 4 times 64 over 3 plus 24 24 minus I'm going to have um minus 32 32 over 3 minus 12 12 okay and that gives me 132 so this is 132 so our area is 276 minus 132 which gives you that's a 4 and that's a 4, and that's a 1, 144, exactly the same area that we got when we did it this way. So you can, you can use a variety of methods to find the area that's needed, um, and all of them are fine, as long as you use some integration in it, because it says use integration. Okay, now, next question. Find the exact value of the total area of the two shaded regions. So now we need to take this region over here, and find the area of this region over here, and add it to our... Um, other section. So what we're going to do here is we're going to consider now between these limits here. Okay, so it's basically 
the same thing as what we just did here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the see now the curve is above the line. So if I did the if I use the same if I use the same method here, okay, use this equation here, um, I'm going to get the I'm going to get a negative area. So I've got two choices. Either I use the same the same integral here, and instead of putting I could use exactly the same integral, and instead of putting um, uh, five on top and four underneath, I could switch them around. So I can put four and five, and it will give me a positive area. Or I find the area, and whatever comes out, I just it's going to be negative. I'll just make it positive and then add it to this area. Because if I use what I used before, which is the line minus the curve, well, at this point, the line is lower than the curve, so it's going to give me a negative area. So I know that I have to add this area is a scalar quantity, so I just have to, to make it positive and add it to this area. So I've got my, I've got you know a few choices here. Okay, I could just leave this as it is, or basically I could just switch the signs of this. I could, I could switch the signs of these basically because I'm subtracting them the other way around. So it's going to be four x squared minus eight x minus thirty two because you're going to have this first. That's all. So you know either way is is perfectly fine so I think I'll just I'll just do it from the beginning I've got to integrate between the limits of 4 and 5 and I'm going to write the equation of the curve first because it's above it and the curve the equation of the curve remember was y equals 4x squared plus 6 so you're gonna have 4x squared plus 6 minus the equation of the line and the equation of the line remember was y equals 8x plus 38 so I'll put minus 8x plus 38. I want to integrate all of that with respect to x. So let me just get that ready. I've got 5 and a 4. And this is going to be 4x squared. I'm going to have minus 8x. And I'm going to have um, 6 minus 38, which is minus 32. So it's exactly the same expression, except all the signs have changed. Now that's all. So now integrating that gives me 4x cubed over 3 minus 4x squared minus 32x. And I've got to put in here 5 and 4. So that gives me 4 times 5 cubed over 3 minus 4 times 5 squared minus 32 times 5 minus. Then I'm going to have 4 times 4 cubed over 3 minus 4 times 4 squared minus 32 times 4 okay and that will give me the required r2 this is for r2 okay so now i can just um, i'll just stick this all in my calculator one go and see what we get <coughs> we're going to have 4 let me just put this first 4 times 5 cubed 4 times 5 cubed over 3 minus going to have 4 times 5 squared minus 32 times 5 you've got to be very careful not to make a mistake in these see like I've done here this is this pen it keeps doubling up numbers 32 times 5 so you've got to be very careful in case you make a mistake Okay, so I've got that part, and I'm going to have um, let's go back there. We'll just close that big bracket minus. Then I'm going to have um, four times four cubed this time over three. Um, then I have minus four times four squared is going to be 16 and minus 32 times 4 okay and close that bracket as well that's equal to 40 over 3 okay so that's r2 therefore the total area is going to be what we found i think is 144 Yep, 144, R1 plus R2, which is 144 plus 40 over 3. So it says exact area, so we'll leave it as a fraction, 
plus 144, whoops, 144. That gives you 472 over 3. So you can leave it like that. That's the exact value. If you want to write it, if you want, as an improper fraction, you can also do that. And that's 157 and 1 third. But both of those are acceptable as answers. Okay, that's square units. So there's your answer to part B. Okay, if you had integrated the other way around or integrated it with um, you know, the same expression we got before, we would have got a negative area, minus 40 over 3. But when you add it, you have to add it as a positive area. Okay, area is a, is a um, scalar quantity. So you don't add negative areas. Okay, that's part um, B done. Okay, so now for part um, C, it says given that the area of R1 over the area of R2 is equal to K, find the value of K. So we've got to find the value of K now. So um, what we can do here is find the area of R1. We found the area of R1. R1 area was 144. And R2 area was, this was the total, R2 was 40 over 3. Okay, so then R1 over R2 is going to be 144 divided by 40 over 3, which is 144 times 3 over 40. Okay, so let me just do that. So that was our answer we got last. Let's see, we've got, uh, there's 40 over 3. So you have 144. Okay, so 144 divided by the answer gives us 54 over 5. That's 54 over 5. So that's the value of K. So K is equal to 54 over 5, which you can say is 10 and 4 fifths, which is 10.8 if you want. That's the value of K. And there we have the answer to this whole question. Thank you for watching. Um, other questions from this paper of June 2018, C12, I'll be adding to the playlist, which should appear in this section here. Um, other questions to do with integration from P2 will be found in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And on the top of the page, you would have seen a card appearing, which will take you to a P2 past paper that you might be interested in watching. Thank you for watching and see you soon.